let's get twin motion on our computer so i'm going to start by installing the epic game launcher so you can just do a quick google search epic game launcher get that on your computer and what you'll notice is there's a multiple sign-on option which is really great for most school boards we're a google school board so if i click on here it'll uh i can use my school board credentials to log in so i don't have to have my students create separate accounts so you see it does this in the browser and it basically asks you to close the window and then go back to your game launcher and it's going to log in so one of the things about the game launcher is it's kind of busy and uh you know i always uh, the first day talk about uh you know you're going to just use it for what we're going to be using it for unless you somehow allow for some other permission to use something else now obviously we use unreal engine a lot uh but this course is on twin motion and you can see right here uh, on yours you would see install okay and you would probably know this uh, if you teach technology make sure the students install it in a safe location where there's enough room on the hard drive you know the 3d game design takes up a lot more room than you know let's say photoshop or any uh, even video editing so you need a little bit more room okay so click launch and it will uh, start now, once you install it on your computer, you don't actually need to use the Epic Game Launcher. So you see I have it down here and I've already opened it. And this is what you will see once you open it. Often what I do with my students is I have them pin this in the taskbar. And then uh, the next time they can skip the, the Game Launcher. Uh, and that's how you kind of get a twin motion going on and installed on your computer. So if you have any questions, uh, let me know.